Hello friends, welcome to part 8 of Laravel 12 multi vendor e-commerce series. In this part, we will work on the admin login functionality once again, but this time we will use a service class. This will help us understand the difference between the traditional controller based logic and service based logic and how using services lead to a better, cleaner and reusable code. So we will create admin service which will handle all admin related logic in a structured way. So in the beginning of the series we have decided to use requests and services to organize our code in a better way. And in the previous part, we have used request validation for the first time. Now in this part, we are going to use services classes for the first time. So we are going to use these service classes in Laravel uh, to separate business logic from the controller, making the code more clean, reusable and maintainable. Admin service will manage not just the admin login, but all other admin data functions as we progress in the series. So we are going to take the following steps to implement admin service for admin login. So first thing that we are going to create the service folder and structure. We are going to create a service folder inside the app directory to manage different services. To keep things organized, we will create separate folder for admin and front services like this. So we are going to create the admin service for admin related services and we are going to create the front forward folder for front related services. Okay, so let's create the folders right now. I'm going to my project folder, but first of all, I need to see that my project is, uh, my XAMPP is running or not. I'm going to check my XAMPP. So I'm going to start my Apache and MySQL server. Okay, so after starting this, I'm going to run my project as well. And my project is in my SE Docs folder inside personal. This is my folder, ecom12. I will go inside the folder, right click, git bash here, and will run the php artisan serve command. You can also run in any specific port if you want to run. Okay. So I'm going to run this command php artisan serve to run our uh, Laravel 12 multi vendor e-commerce project. So it is not running. I'm going to check. I think my SQL server is still not running, so I will go to my ZAMP once again, ZAMP control panel. Yes, it's not running. I'm going to click on my SQL server once again, and I think now it's running. I'm going to refresh. Okay, so it's running. So I'm going to open the admin login, admin dashboard will not open. Yes, it will take us to admin login page. Okay, so our admin login is currently working fine with the traditional controller based function. I'm going to fill up the email and password and we'll click on sign in. And you can see the admin login is currently working fine with the traditional approach. But now we are going to update this admin login with the service class based. Okay, so that is the better approach. So we are going to use these services for the first time for the admin login functionality. So let's start. Let's follow these steps. The first step is to create the services folders, admin for the admin related services and front for the front related services. So we are going to create here the two folders, stdocs, uh, personal. Here is my folder, econ12. I will go inside the app folder. And inside app, I'm going to create the services folder like we have the models folder separate models folder and now we are going to have the separate services folder okay so earlier we used to create all the functions all the methods inside of controller or maybe inside our models but now we are going to create all these functions and methods inside our services only okay so inside services we are going to create two more folders and one is the front and one is the admin okay front for the front related services and 
the another folder that we're going to create the admin letter uh, admin uh, for the admin letter services okay so we are going to uh, create here the admin service inside the admin folder okay so we are going to create this admin service manually we are required to create this admin service okay i will create here new text document and here the name will be admin service dot php i will mm -hmm. manually manually create this admin service dot php as there is no artisan command to create the service okay so there is the artisan command to create the request but there is no artisan command to create the service so you are required to create the services manually inside your folder so after creating the admin service we are going to open this file i'm going to open my project first of all uh, in sublime or you can use the editor of your own choice so i'm going to open my project in sublime I'm going to drag it and will open it in sublime okay so after that i am going to open the admin service that we have just created okay here it is so i will also open the admin controller see initially the last time we are having our function ready uh, login function ready here you can see the store function is here inside the admin controller but now the uh, see logic is here inside the store function and that is located inside the controller but now we are going to move this logic inside the admin service okay so for keeping all the logics we are required services so we are going to keep all the logics all the functions here in the admin service itself okay so admin related function admin related logics we are going to manage in admin service file okay so here we are going to add first of all uh, these are essential we are going to add the namespace as well as the use auth at the top but i'm going to start the php and we'll use here like this namespace as well as uh, auth we are going to include and after that we are going to create the uh, class admin service class and inside the admin service class we are going to add the login function okay so here uh, for saving the time i'm going to copy the code so that it will save over time otherwise it will take too much time this code i have already written earlier i have already uh, spent uh, time in it and and just uh, make this talk ready for you so that you can follow all the steps uh, so you can see that we have created here the admin service and inside admin service we have created the login function and this login function do the same thing that this store function was doing earlier okay here see we are uh, bringing the data in data variable we are having the email as well as the password of the user uh, if the admin email and password are correct then we will return one otherwise we will return zero okay so we are going to modify the store function as well uh, we are required to make the object of this admin service and we are going to call that login function uh, so that we can check that whether the login status is one or zero if the login status is one then we will redirect the user to the dashboard page otherwise we will return the error message we will show the error message to the user okay so you know, we are going to modify the store function as well so here we are going to modify the store functions so we are going to make it like this going to align it okay so here it's our store function and here you can see we call this admin service we make the object of this admin service and we call the login function and login function returns one or zero one it will return if the email and password are correct and zero it will return if the email and password are incorrect so if it will become one we will redirect the admin to the dashboard otherwise we will redirect the admin to the login page back to login page with this error message invalid email or password okay so here uh, for this for using this admin service we are required to include it at the top okay at the top of the admin controller so here we are required to use this admin service at the top so further in this series we are going to make the constructor okay and we are going to inject this admin service into that constructor so that we can use in any function without calling it okay so uh, later on in this series we are going to do that uh, okay so right now we are going to just using it in function uh, for more clarity so 
uh, now we are going to test that uh, our admin login functionality is working fine with this admin service class or not okay so let's test it okay i am going to test it with the admin admin at the rate of admin.com password is 1256 i will go to sign in let's see yes we are able to sign in okay so this we are using with the admin service class we are able to sign in with the admin service class and we are going to click on sign out now yes we sign out as well now i am going to use some other uh, password like any other password i am going to use i will try to sign in then it must show the error message yes invalid email or password so our admin login functionality is working fine with the admin service class that we are using for the first time and we are going to use these services for uh, further uh, admin related functions uh, as well okay and we are going to create the service class for every module like for the products module for the categories modules okay for all the modules we are going to make the services class that will contain the related logics okay so i hope that it's clear to you and if you have any query then you can surely contact me and please bookmark and follow this full playlist that you can find under video in the description you can find so you can just open this playlist laravel 12 multi vendor e-commerce uh, playlist you can bookmark this playlist and in this playlist all the videos will keep coming okay and you can always join as a member if you want to have the early access you want to uh, see uh, every video comes two three days earlier if you will join as a member you will get these videos sometimes four days sometimes seven days earlier okay so you can able to get the early access and you can able to get the complete source code okay and you can be able to get the complete support so there is too much benefit to join as a member okay if you will join as a member then you will get the complete support complete code and early access of the videos and you can always subscribe the youtube stat developer channel so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye